Hey, welcome back, guys. It's Coach Dan. Thank you for joining us for this course. Is the PMP exam right for me? And in this first lesson, we are going to talk about what it means to be PMP certified. So maybe you're new to project management, okay? Fresh out of school, maybe. Maybe you're a career changer. Maybe you've been a PM for 10 or 15 or more years, all right? Or maybe you are even doing like chapter three, where you're doing the final stage of your career and thinking about coming over to project management. All of those things would be a great idea for all of you. All right, right now, due to the post-COVID skills gap that we're facing in project management, there is an enormous demand for certified project managers. All right, and recently a study was released about the 2023 jobs report, and it's reported that we need 2.3 million project managers per year for the foreseeable future, at least, all right? But these employers that are hiring project managers, they need to see PMP certification or a scrum certification, for example, all right? They want the work experience validated. Now, if you're not familiar with PMP, the Project Management Professional Credential, it is an international and global credential, and it is sponsored by the PMI Institute, and it is their registered trademark. All right, Coach Dan only provides the training in associated matters, and what I've learned over the years is that when you get PMP certified, you can experience what's well-documented and known as the PMP salary bump. The PMP salary bump is the fact that in the United States and Canada, studies show that a PMP working at the same job in the same place as their non-certified or their certified counterpart and they're not certified, they make 20% less than the certified candidate. All right, so PMP really levels the playing field with salary. All right, that's number one. Number two is your career and your career growth is automatically sort of instantly boosted, okay, by the PMP credential in terms of updating maybe your LinkedIn profile, your resume, your cover letter. Maybe you're going in for a promotion, all right, or a year-end review or raise, and, you know, getting this PMP credential would actually be something very powerful in terms of helping you achieve those goals, all right? So this is the respect that you finally have been waiting for as a project manager. Maybe, maybe you'll be able to use these project management skills right at the job at, that you work at. Or maybe you're an external contractor. And so your company will provide you to other companies where you'll provide services as a certified project manager. So it has value to your company. It also has value to your client, your customer, your employer's clients, right? So PMP takes on value in many different areas. You can be a project manager in healthcare and you can move over to IT because you have a PMP certification. Employers will appreciate that transfer, all right? Because project management professional and its associated credential is a framework that's globally recognized, all right? So there's no better way to demonstrate to a potential employer that you are a successful and accountable project manager than with a PMP credential, all right? So that is the sum up of today's lesson, what it means to be PMP certified and how it helps you in all the different areas of your career. All right, thanks again for opting into this class. Please continue with the lessons, all right? Read the associated workbooks. And then in our next episode, we're gonna be talking about what does it actually take? What do you actually need to sit for the PMP exam. All right, so thanks for being with me, and we'll see you next time.